Hi everyone, my name is Grace and welcome to Get You's Family. Today I'm going to read you the book called Yasmin the Painter. So let's get started. Table of Contents. Chapter 1, The Announcement. Chapter 2, Yasmin Makes a Mess. Chapter 3, Competition Day. Chapter 1, The Announcement. On Monday, in art class, Miss Alex made an announcement. We are going to have an art class competition on Friday night. I hope you all enter. The winner will get a special prize. Everyone is really excited. Everyone but Yasmin. Yasmin was worried. She wasn't very good at art. Her circles were always lopsided. And her hearts never looked like hearts at all. What's the prize? Ali asked. That's a surprise, Miss Alex replied. Yasmin frowned. On Tuesday evening, Baba came home with the box. Yasmin, I have a present for you, he called. What was it? Yasmin thought. A new puzzle? A craft kit? Baba helped her open the box. Oh, said Yasmin, paints. Yes, for the art competition on Friday. Look, there's an easel and a canvas too, Baba said. Yasmin wrinkled her nose, but he said, Thank you, Baba, and took the supplies upstairs. On Wednesday after school, Yasmin, Mama showed a Yasmin videos of famous artists. There was a man with the bow tie who was painting trees. There was an old woman painting mountains. Yasmin thought of her own messy, ugly artwork. She sighed. I'll never be as good as they are. Mama smiled. It's okay, John. You can only have to try your best. But Yasmin still wasn't ready to paint. On Thursday, Mama said, Yasmin, finish your schoolwork while I make dinner. Yasmin watched the video of the man with the bow tie again. He made it look so easy, she decided to give it a try. She set up the easel and paints and tried to copy him. A tree was easy, wasn't it? No. Maybe a little flower? No. Her pictures looked nothing like the ones on the video. Yasmin stomped her foot in frustration. Oops, everything scattered around her. What a mess. Then she noticed something. Yellow paint had splashed on the top of the canvas. She thought it looked like a sun. She took some brown paint and splashed it on the canvas too. Then she splashed some blue paint, then some green paint. Soon, Yasmin's idea was taking shape. On Friday night, Mama and Baba walked with Yasmin to her school. It was weird and exciting to go to school at night. Miss Alex had decorated the cafeteria with balloons. Welcome children, she said brightly. I can't wait to see what you created. Yasmin had a strange feeling in her tummy, like a hundred soda pop bubbles. Principal Nigunin was the judge. He looked at Ali's mountains and Emma's basketball. He carefully studied each student's work. Yasmin pretended to drink her punch. Mama squeezed her shoulder. Don't worry, your painting is beautiful. Soon, Mr. Yugen Tap the microphone. The winner of the competition is Yasmin Achmed. Yasmin couldn't believe it. Her splotchy meadow painting had won. But wait, what was the mystery prize? A man entered the cafeteria. It was the painter from the videos. Yasmin, so nice to meet you, he said. For your prize, I'll be giving you painting lessons next week. Thank you, 
but I have to warn you, I'll probably make a mess. Yasmin replied. The artist laughed. Don't worry, I will too. Think about it, talk about it. Yasmin doesn't think she's a very good artist. Why does she feel that way? If Yasmin were your friend, what would you say to her? What special skill or talent do you have? What special talent do you wish you had? Can you think of ways you could practice to get better at your talents? Some accidents are bad, but some accidents are good. Yasmin's painting started from a happy an accident. Have you ever had something go wrong that turned out to be something good? Learn Urdu with Yasmin. Yasmin's family speaks both English and Urdu. Urdu is a language from Pakistan. Maybe you know some Urdu words. Baba. It's pronounced like ba ba, meaning father. Hijab. It's pronounced like hijab. It means scarf covering the hair. Jan. Jan. Life. A sweet nickname for a loved one. Kameez. Main like kameez, meaning long tunic or shirt. Mama, meaning mother. Nan, pronounced like na. Flat bread baked in the oven, that's the meaning. Nana, grandfather on mother's side. Nani, grandmother on mother's side. Salam, meaning hello. Sari, dress worn by people in South Asia. Pakistan fun facts. Yasmin and her family are proud of their Pakistani culture. Yasmin loves to share facts about Pakistan. Location. Pakistan is in the continent of Asia, with India on one side and Afghanistan on the other side. The capital is Islamabad. Capital. Islamabad is the capital, but Karachi is the largest city. Sports. Pakistan is the largest producer of handmade soccer balls in the world. Nature. The longest river in the Pakistan is the Indus River. A very rare type of dolphin lives there. Make a flower motif bookmark. Supplies. White cardstock. Scissors. Ruler. Pencil. Color pencil. Use ruler and pencil to measure a rectangle bookmark on your paper 2 inches, 5 centimeters wide, and 6 inches, 15 centimeters long. Cut out the bookmark. On a separate piece of paper, practice drawing the flower in simple steps. 3. Draw 3 or 4 of them on the flower designs on your bookmark, depending on the size of your drawing. Have fun coloring your bookmark! That's it. Thank you for watching this channel. If you didn't subscribe, please subscribe. Bye-bye.